Welcome back and just a quick update before the holiday here. Um, so this is the door frame here. Now I've got the holes drilled in the actual frame that meet up with the locks and these ones have put a couple of bolts in place. And due to a little bit of a design issue early on, um, there wasn't enough sort of clearance room between the bolts on the leading edges there though. So we're going to actually be, be uh, bonding some FR4 plate in there to reinforce those on the outside and then of course have to bond them in on the inside. But you can see they're fitting really nicely in there and those um, pressure blocks that we put in there when we laid up the part uh, actually did the job nicely. And here's the main spar released from the mold and obviously still needs to be uh, trimmed and cleaned up but we're going to be putting it back in the mold uh, so it can cure up um, over the, the holiday here but it came out nicely and uh, so we're happy with that. And this is uh, Chris and Devon working on uh, I think bulking up this um, mold for these braces there that go between the the firewall and the aft bulkhead so that one's getting close to being done and this is the first of the uh, lower wing skins here so it basically had all the priming and sanding and done so it's in the phase of now of getting uh, it's about five coats of wax so it's um, be ready for pulling the mold and then you can see Zach working on that and this is the mold for one of the rear walls of the straight tank and that's basically pretty much finished off now I just had to get those stands put on there um, so it can be uh, have something to stand on when it's being laid up and this is that one that you saw earlier the the braces now released um, from the plug and it came out nicely that's just all dust on there so because once they release that thing just attracts dust and here's the other uh, mold for the rear strake tank wall and you see this one has just the two pieces of foam glued into place there so they need to have some glass put on there and then that one will be ready for clean up and soon to be able to pull that part. And this is the left side uh, door mold, door frame mold. So that one's getting prepped and it's going to have the same process where we lay up those little intensifiers in there and then get it prepped to actually lay up the part. So that'll be next week probably. And as I said earlier, here's the main spar sitting back in its mold. Um, so it you know, can cure longer over the break. And as you can see, there's still some of that perf film on there that needs to be removed and I guess some peel ply as well and there's that wing skin so that now has the um, the wing skin plug so now has the five coats of wax on there so that one all it needs now is the rubber profile um, put around the edges there and that one's ready to lay up that mold and back to the door frame here's that the fixture uh, that I created the other day and I've actually put another square tube on there to brace it up some more and as you might be able to see under there put some five minute epoxy under there with some micro just to kind of um, create like a flat platform between it, it and the door frame and next week we'll just be drilling a couple of small holes in there probably to click or just bolt that on and uh, then we'll be able to put it in the um, in the door frame opening and you can see I actually have some um, rubber um, weather stripping that I put around there and it's fitting really nicely in the frame there so we're really happy with the fit on that so there's a good chance that next week we'll actually have that door those door pins done and this is that little uh, other fixture jig that's going to help us drill the holes through to the second side once the first one's done. Anyway, I hope you have a good holiday. That's our update for this week. Thanks for watching.